Hey, brother darn it all here. How was your summer, guys? You ready for that spring fun? The non-trick-or-treating going to happen? Oh, man, is it a shitty year. Now, there's a lot of different things going on, and I have no plan to talk about anything real. But, um, you know, in China, they're, <clears throat> they're all their ag areas, it's either been hit with torrential rain or massive flooding or even hail and shit like that. Oh, Let's not forget about the locust. Right? So, <laughs> they got the locust going on, too. And I think I heard China buy a lot of grain from us. And we've had a, a decent crop year, I think. I don't know. I don't really pay attention to that stuff anymore. Um, fields look good. I didn't see any flooding. I mean, we've had massive flooding the years before, so but nothing like China had. I mean, those those guys had flooding like nothing else. And that, that dam, <laughs> remember when they opened the dam up? The cool, the, the cool thing was that the CCP, such freaking, like, just dirt bags, they didn't tell the people below that they were going to open the dam up, so people drowned in their sleep. It was the last, about three weeks ago, it was a new law where everybody in China has to go and get, like, a review from the government <clears throat> so that... Uh, they can figure out what their faith is and so they can denounce it <laughs> so they can denounce their faith uh, to be a part of the communist party you know oh geez well what else is going on uh our language is being changed and used against us apparently uh racism is built into the system yeah i don't know I know that uh, there were like 9 to 13, depending on which report you look at, of un unarmed black men being shot last year. So, um, I guess. I mean, the newest study shows that uh, cops are more likely to shoot a white person. <laughs> I, and I can see that because, damn, do they, they don't put up any shit, man. Like, something bad happens and they, they'll burn your city down. One of those cops didn't get charged. They ended up shooting two more police officers in uh, Louisville. Whatever. Whatever. Enough about black. Let's move on to the, the IAA uh, AI computer they've been using against us. I don't know if you saw this uh, Shadowgate documentary, but if you kind of look into it, it's a little bit freaky. So many years ago, remember the Obama phone? So they came out with a Obama phone, gave everybody an Obama phone. Um, and it was affordable. <laughs> I think it was free. And then they gave them all data. They're like, hey, you have data. So they had knew everything about everybody who had an Obama phone, right? And uh, so then Obama put in this thing where you he could, they're basically listening to every phone call, okay? And the shadow gate is a uh, it's seventy two hours of the world's information that we built a program for through the army, and then the army ended up selling that shit to uh private companies who's been getting just been being used against us since i don't know shit like ferguson but you can see with what the well what let me explain what the a the i a a a i computer can do instead of like uh people physically having to go out and create assets and and feed them a bunch of lies and propaganda the i a a computer will have the all these assets and information it'll have all everybody's information and the assets can be a lot larger and easier to control and manage it could be an entire news agency it could be like a, one youtuber um whoever's a, a church whoever's going to influence the person that they want to look at the antifa because they always do this they take a weakest pawn and they make them do something just like the guy who threw the the bomb or whatever he was like mentally handicapped some antifa guy came up and was like hey throw this and the guy's like what is it and he's like it's a firework and he throws it and it was like a freaking class two freaking grenade or some shit you know what i'm saying he ended up fucking people up and he's in prison now but they always use the useful idiots they always do and it's not me i won't be part of it but uh, actually, I was kind of part of one. I went to the protest just to see like what people were doing, and they're smashing cop cars. They were slicing uh, white girls' cars. There's, here, let me, f I'll find it. So this is uh, here in little old Bloomington, and you can see that car, the white one. They're a white lady in here, 
and then this car there's a black lady in there and they, they're there for a minute and you can see they push her out they're like hey let's get her out of here back her up there's me I'm a chucklehead you can hear me um, and then finally I went and got these cops they're like dude they sliced her tire um, all this crap dude I'm so yeah see I figured out what was going on here they sliced her tire and it took forever see how long it took for them to get there anyway enough of that stupid crap so this is what they do they use the idiots to get the job done right so they activate the, the IAA will you put in information blow I need this outcome I need a riot in here or, or this to happen or this guy to shoot them and then they put it in and it will it'll like it'll send you it'll like rat like rat radicalize you you know satan said beware or jesus said god said the bible said beware of satan's devices right i believe these are the devices okay everybody's got one it's not so crazy to think about everybody has one and i'm sure there's other devices it didn't say don't use it so be aware of it anyway <clears throat> beware of the information because we are word controlled people okay just like this IAA computer um, and then they got the whole election they're using it to win elections and shit okay come on now um, and that's coming out you know the FBI they're, they're finding out that they knew it was a hoax and everything else and they were just covering their own tracks man that's what they do they project you know it's the Saul Alinsky uh, uh, method of, of divide and conquer and and um, just project, project what you're doing that you were colluding with Russia to win the election and say someone say the other person was doing it so whatever whatever so we're moving into a time where we don't know if things are really grassroots or not and I think I think a lot of us are seeing you know if you're paying attention and I hope you are that you know the u-haul trucks pulling up with signs and blm spending all this money just to bail people out of jail joe biden bailing people out of jail uh kamala harris as uh, uh you know advocating for funds to be donated to the <laughs> being bailed out of jail george soros has been putting in uh district attorneys he's been he's been buying up different areas of government especially in these democratic run cities that you can see and well, they tried talking about it on Fox News and they got shut down. So not even Fox News can say, I mean, uh, you know, they're going to like reincarnate Saul Alinsky and put him up in Fox News. And that's what we're going to have in a couple of years. If you're just not careful, got to be careful about that. I mean, seriously, like uh, independent media is getting way more hits than mainstream news. Way more. So suck it. They're going to do something about that there's a great reset happening um there's no not not 5g uh creating coronavirus crap no 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 there is 5g going up and there was at the beginning of this uh thing like the first like three four months of uh the shutdown there were tons of 5g going up sorry it's just it's just the truth it's the tooth and um i mean we're moving into a time where we'll have 5g which is Big, it's just zero latency big brother okay zero latency and um i'm a little bit annoyed by it i don't want it i don't want to be <sighs> we're gonna be moving to where like like in china they have uh what their conviction rate is 98 percent. so if you get charged with a crime there's a two percent chance that you're getting off and it's kind of like what it's going to be like here. It's going to be like there are no judges and lawyers because if you're in trouble for something, they either deleted the truth and they don't have it now or you did it and they have it on film and you're getting charged for, I don't know, just think of some crazy crimes that they can come up with for putting out propaganda, you know, like, like, so that green is people, <laughs> you know, like, well, for all eating people and I can't, I can't say that it's people, you know, anyway, I don't know if anybody knows what soy that green is. It's people. Uh, whoa, hey, there, there's Biden right there. Oh, good God. 
I swear, I'm an idiot. I do a lot of stupid shit with these PNGs. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, the Great Reset. Yeah, we've always been controlled by our words. And they always tell you in plain sight. Like, just... Look at the universe. Right? And God said, let, you know, that's the universe. That's one verse. They always tell you the truth. But then they tell you you came from monkeys. There were all a bunch of monkeys from a, a primordial soup that rained on for eons and eons. When the reality is, when you look around, you see more evidence of um, a worldwide flood. <laughs> you know, there's over 500 surviving flood stories throughout uh, various different cultures. And that's, um, that's quite a bit. I mean, other than just the Bible, there's flood stories. So maybe, yeah, maybe not everybody died. I don't know. Who knows? But if you look at the layers of the earth and the stratuses and and you see how it's all sorted out. They say it takes millions of years for each stratosphere to grow up. But there's actually a scientific method called hydrologic sorting that if you took a whole bunch of different types of dirt, say sand and clay and regular dirt, and you put it in a colander or whatever and you mix it up, it's going to sort itself out in layers. And a weird thing is, um, a man put all of these different animals and types of sediments in a big swimming pool. He put animals in it, mix it all up, and they all sort it out. Kind of the same way as it does in our environment. Well, in a lot of areas, I mean, you can keep digging and digging and digging and say, fuck you. But in a lot of areas, I mean, the reptiles on bottom, you know, insects on top, shit like that. That's it's kind of how it sorted out. So, I mean, they even got, here, hold on. Yeah, so these Easter Island statues. Um, haha, that one's fun. Was that? No. But surprising secrets underneath, you know. They're full statues. I don't know if that's part of the flood. It seems a little bit ridiculous. But the whole, the whole hydroplate theory um, seems to explain a lot more to me. Like, even if how it... There's the Great Deep broke open. We have the Atlantic Ridge, which is like where the Great Deep is, all the way underneath the ocean. It shot up. I mean, how else do you get comets in the air, ice comets and shit, and frozen water, and uh, a bunch of craters in the moon if it didn't shoot up, right? You know, and then just the way, if you have land masses separating, and I, I believe it happened really fast and not over millions of years, um, land masses separating, and it's on a globe they're going to be pushing on each other too so they make hills and they make valleys and they make oceans or whatever and a lot of, it's just just a lot of proof that you know a lot of those the sea creatures um you know weren't a lot of them weren't sea creatures like for salt water and that they're having to deal with more and more salt over over a couple thousand years like anyway it's just a lot of proofs of a global flood and it doesn't you know like it's just stupid stuff like s petrified snails on top of mount everest you know and i don't think snails spent millions of years climbing and i don't think it's just it doesn't make sense for you know it don't make sense the evolution don't make sense to me at all i mean that was the state mandated doctrine right evolution survival of the fittest and now they want to save everybody from coronavirus but if you take out comorbidity in the united states of america ten thousand people had died not two hundred thousand ten thousand people had died the rest died of coronavirus and two three more illnesses that they already had a lot of them were already on their way to expire a lot of this is due to mismanagement of uh at the state and local level with democratic run governors who decided to put coronavirus patients in nursing homes which we all know that's a bad idea yeah canada 80 percent of their deaths is from nursing homes did you know that canada how many coronavirus deaths in canada let's look it up you know what? i couldn't find it quickly because it's all like covid 19 death rate in us 17 is higher than eu 
Did did the EU uh, pay out thousands of dollars for every coronavirus um, patient <laughs> received? Because that's what we were doing in America. Pretty cool, huh? We were paying out tons of money. Anyway, I don't even care anymore. I don't even care. I don't even care anymore. I don't care. I don't care. I kind of do care. Why well, won't just give me the answer? Oh. What? So they got 10,000 deaths. Okay, they got 10,000 deaths in Canada. I wonder if they were doing the same shit we're doing here, but they got uh, they got that, that universal health care. So they're probably not. No, why would they pay? They can't. I mean, it's all local. It's all it's all government. <clears throat> so they're not paying. I'm just going to say that they're not paying thousands of dollars to the hospital for the hospital getting a, a positive coronavirus test. And they don't even verify it. So does it even matter? Like in America, like if they did, just say everybody did, right? Anyway, I'm rambling. Um, I'm just going to stop there. It's just like totally just unproductive, just ramblings. And uh, it, it was fun, guys. It was fun. So, laters.